What's going on you guys? So another Dell XPS desktop gonna be a teardown. So what first I'm gonna do is uh you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, Phillips head, flat head, and uh this is a smaller one for remove the solid state drive. And so what I'll do is uh so there's a latch here in the back corner here. You're gonna lift it up like this. You see that? And the side cover panel will slide like this, pull it up. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna remove this plate here. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up. First all I'll do is I'm gonna remove the front cover plastic. And what we'll do is we're gonna lift this up right here. So you're gonna take your hand right here. See that? And you're gonna lift it up like that, gel it, and it comes out. So first all we'll do I will remove the VD card and it's got a clip right here. So you're gonna take your finger like this gently, press it down and lift up the VD card. It's got a GTX uh, 750 Ti in here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the RAM. So I'll take the, again, this is a smaller Phillips head, and move the sole state drive. It's running 2280 MVME you can use, or and it comes out like this. Now, I will disconnect the SATA port, SATA. So the SATA cables right here, I'm gonna disconnect. And there's another cable here. And 24 pin, a four pin for the CPU power. Looks like it's audio here in the corner. Front panel right here, right there. CPU fan. Now what I will do is I will pull the power supply out. So it's got two, looks like it's got a four screws here in the back. You see that? Two here in the top, two in the bottom. And we'll slide the power supply like this. And you lift it up. And you can disconnect the optical drive right here. It's connected. You see in the corner. And the CPU power. So the power supply is actually 460 watt. Okay, so now what we'll do I will disconnect uh, the CPU cooler and the 
the CP inside. I'm gonna go and leave it. It'll be the last part. There's a SATA right here. You're gonna disconnect from the optical drive. In the corner. And it looks like it has a fan in here also. It looks like it's 120 millimeter. That'll be the last part I will remove. So what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motherboard out. And what they're gonna do is disconnect the wireless here, the wireless card right there. So it looks like it has a small screw and I need to get mini Phillips head. Let me try this one. It's a small one, okay, so. It's too big, I'm gonna try this one. So yeah, you will need a mini Phillips head screwdriver to remove the wireless card here. So now I will go ahead and start from the bottom. So it looks like there one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight screws that you have to remove from the motherboard. I'm using left hand because uh, so you guys can see the view better. Because if I use the right hand, you guys are able to see we're blocking the view. So what I will do is I'll have to remove the CPU cooler now. And when I remove the CPU cooler, I will pull the motherboard out, then I will remove the CPU the last part. Now, I will take paper towel and I'll rub the on call 91%. I'm gonna wipe down the CPU quickly before I remove it. small amount just like that I'll show you guys so, so there'll be another screw here you have to remove and another one in the corner left corner here you guys see right there Three, it looks like six, eight, eight screws.
So now what I will do is I'm going to pull the motherboard out. And to do that, I'm just going to go and lift it up like this. And it comes out. Before you do that, you know, disconnect the wireless card. Okay, the wire here. And pull the CPU out. So guys, this motherboard is uh, considered as a micro ATX. And it is possible you can take this motherboard and install a custom case if you want. But I don't recommend, but you could do that. USB ports, 2.0, 3.0, HDMI, it's got a display port, PCI Express times 16 slot, PCI Express times one slot right here, and uh, so it's got the look at one, two, three, four SATA ports, it's M.2 of the SSD or NVMe, backside. And maybe the last part is the fan. And I'm gonna try to move the optical drive also. And so we will remove the optical drive. So you see right there. It's got a clip, looks like. If I can remove it. So you clip it down and it comes out like that. So guys, this be the I'll do the last part of B right here. Move the this is a USB audio here in the front. Okay, so I'm trying to move the front one here also. The front, so how's the plastic? This is for the front. So basically it holds by the clips here. You press like this and it comes out. See that? And you're gonna disconnect right here in the top. There are screws here also. And this for the power switch. And this is for the wireless right here, for the Wi Fi antenna, it looks like, on top. And there's one screw here in the bottom. And the power switch with the power LED. And I move the PCI brackets here. One, two, three, and four. See you guys to speed in the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.